Though autumn weather had closed in, there was no shortage of people at the start in Colchester to see the peloton prepare for stage five of the AJ Bell women's tour. And for the second day running, we were still in Essex for what looked like a similar day on the relatively flat roads of England's southeast. Yeah, it's a bit shorter, so it could be a bit more fireworks on the road. But um, yeah, I'm just hoping for a bunch of kick, of course. But I think we have some some good uh, plans up ahead to see like if we can do something with the team. But um, yeah, I think a lot of the teams want to go for a bunch of kick again. So yeah, the same of yesterday or uh, a little bit uh, more. And uh, but uh, yeah, we know maybe have the the best train, and uh, we now are uh, the. Uh, <laughs> the um, the team uh, who made the uh, best lead out, I think, uh, and we we try to do our best. Two more chances, maybe, depending how the peloton wants to play it. Um, I feel fast. Uh, I'm enjoying being in the bunch and getting my elbows out and sprinting. And um, yeah, after watching basically all season from the sidelines, it's nice to actually be in there. The very early part of the 95.4 kilometer stage to Clacton was quiet, but it wasn't long before Hayley Simmons of Cam's Basso Bikes was on the attack and heading off up the road. With the peloton apparently happy to let the former British time trial champion go, she set about building a lead, with the SD Works team of race leader Dimi Vollering monitoring the front of the bunch. The first obstacle for Simmons was Tenpenny Hill, the first of three classified climbs at which she took maximum points, with her lead growing all the time. And by the time she crossed the finish line in Clacton for the first time, with 63 kilometres to go, she had an advantage of nearly three minutes, with Connie Hayes of the AWOL O'Shea team in the gap behind. Hayes was never able to make any real impact on Simmons' advantage, though, and was left dangling around two minutes and 30 seconds behind her as the race wore on the Cam's Basso bikes rider taking maximum points and time at the first intermediate sprint in Holland on Sea, Hayes crossing second. That was the nearest Hayes got to Simmons though, and she was caught with 36 kilometers to go, while Simmons still had a lead of nearly four minutes. But as the peloton began to up the pace looking for a bunch sprint, the gap started dropping fast, and eventually Simmons was caught just 16 kilometers from the end of the stage. As the kilometres ticked by, a few brave riders tried their luck at getting away. But with teams coming together into lead-out trains, the pace was so high, no one could get anywhere. Around the final bend by the sea in Clacton, and it was time for another bunch sprint, and having lost her DSM team, Stage 4 winner Lorena Vibus hit the front hard. Sprinting for her life, the Dutch rider opened up a gap on her rivals and was too strong, taking a second consecutive stage victory. With our lead out we were a bit too early in the front, but Fiverr did anyway a good job and then Lia and me were left over and at one point I had to find my own way, what was better than uh, really follow, because it was a bit chaotic. And in the last bend I found my way uh, to the front and I direct, almost directly started my sprint, so I came with some speed from behind and it worked out good again. So we calculated yesterday and uh, we made a plan and in the end it would be nice if there was a girl in the break because if she took like the three points in the first sprint I think I should have enough points and that was the case so in the end it was actually nice for us and uh, especially when there were two in the break it was even better so I could like calm down and save myself for the sprint but it was really hectic in the final and I made some unfortunately some bad decisions so I think it was like a top 20 in the end but I'm really happy I have the jersey till the end I think but I really hope I can have like a short result tomorrow stage. Behind Lorena Vibis, world champion Elisa Balsamo was second, while Maraline Vant Galof was third, her first ever UCI Women's World Tour podium finish. Chloe Hosking was fourth, with Clara Caponi finishing fifth. With one day to go, Demi Vollering still leads overall, with Juliette Labousse second, Clara Caponi third, Amy Peters fourth, and Ode Bianic fifth. With Joss Loudon leading the way in seventh, there are three home riders in the top ten. Alice Barnes 8th and Pfeiffer Georgie 10th. 